everyone how are we doing today i hope that you're all doing really well um a big welcome to you if this is your first time to my channel it's angela here um i just want to say uh today we are going to do a little project in our secret garden journal so we're back to the project we've been working on but i also like to say a big thank you to all of those who um, we're so kind and supportive with the new kit that I launched. Thank you so much for your lovely comments and I'm so grateful, really am. I do still have some uh, bundles available in my website shop if you haven't managed to get over there. Um, only thing that I'm not um, in stock of at the moment, which will just be a short time, is the the little lady's crinkle ribbon i have got a new order um, on its way so that will be restocked it might be restocked before i send out the orders so um, i will update you on that all right so let's get started with our little project today i am working in this signature i am i've earmarked the spot so gone just past the middle here that's the middle. So I've just gone a few pages on to the tea stain page. That's the page we're going to work with today. It's opposite this lovely background page that we did. We have. So um, I'm going to take that out here uh, like that. It's got this one on the other side. So I'm just going to take that out. This is where it goes. Move that over there for a the minute. And it is this side that I will be working on, so I'm going to just turn it like that. Let me show you what you need. I have grabbed one of my um, altered book pages. Um, now you would have had, uh, if you even if you had a printed kit, you would have had eight. You only used four, so we have used a couple. I have you. I'm not going to use this particular one. Um, I'm going to use the one with the window on. All right, so uh, that's the one I'm using, but I'm just going to show you how I get to that point. I didn't want to have to stop and sew, so I'll show you what I mean. And of course, you don't have to sew either. All right, so you need one of these. Um, I'll get to that. I'm using <laughs> my little circle remove there. I put it on my tag. This is the lovely soft lemon uh, lace page. So I'm using that from the background pages from my um, secret garden kit, all right? And this is from the altered book pages. Both available as digital and printed, you know all that, the details are below. Oh my gosh, there were about 100 birds that just flew over the roof of my house. Okay, I felt like I was having an <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock moment there, you know, when they all come towards you. Oh my gosh. Right, so that's that on paper. And then here's the other things. I've taken my little envelope from that kit. I haven't stuck it down. Um, I'm using this one. Um, I'm going to use this bit of ephemera here. I've got this piece of ephemera, this one, these two. And then I've got two tags. I will say this, <laughs> this tag, I actually... Uh, took from my tags uh, that I send out with my printed kits <laughs> for the secret garden so that's what that is because I've I think I've run out of the small ones I can't be sure and then um, the, this is in a bigger format but uh, it's just reduced in size um, but any small tag will do and then uh, this is one of the large tags All right so those are the tags and then this is one of the journal cards that i'm going to be using All right so that's what you need on that front and i have just taken one of these little snippets from that trim that i gave you in the ultimate bundle it's that purple little florals All right so that's what we're going to use there um i couldn't fit any lace or anything else on what we're doing today um it's just jam-packed, so we're going to have fun with that. Right, so that goes like that. I'm going to turn this over like that. We're going to use this page here. Okie dokie. Um, what I want you to do, first of all, is take your lace paper and cut out a piece. Let me just move that up a bit. Cut out a piece. Now, I'm not going to give you measurements because you're using a new S size or an A4. They're slightly different in width and height. But as long as you've got a half inch, is that a half inch or three quarters of an inch? Three quarters of an inch from the edge of your page and half an inch from the top and bottom. And, you know, this side is about a quarter of an inch, really. Cut that out. 
all right so that's what i want you to do when it's cut out it looks like this so that's the size i'm going for so you've got a quarter of an inch there from the fold line yeah half an inch there half an inch there and three quarters of an inch there now that's going to be slightly different for a us size letter and an a4 so i'm not going to give you any measurements now i have used my decal edge little tumults guillotine thingy um for my crinkle cut edge but a tear ruler will do the same job all those um deckled scissors if you've got some you know um you can just use straight lines that's also fine i just thought oh let me do use that i have stitched here that is not a must so don't stress about that either all right i've just done that because i like the effect i've also gone off the edge there and messed it up so i'm going to show you what i'm going to do to rectify that i have taken my circle punch and i've taken um, a piece of scrap paper and in this case it's this background here just had a piece i folded the circle in half i've inked it i want to stick it now <laughs> over there it, it looks like a new design feature but it's actually to cover up my mess up so this is just because i went over the edge and it'll bag me and i'm not prepared to go and redo this so yeah this is it i had to come up with an idea so this is the idea to fix your boo-boo when you sew over the edge like this so you see even i make boo-boos i think i'm going to be wise and turn it like that and just getting the right but yeah so it's there and i need to sort of centralize this a little bit so let's go with somewhere like that that's more or less about where i need it and the boo is just on the edge there so i've just sort of moved that up and i'm going to just fold that around because this is my new um design feature for this <laughs> Who knows? You know, might, I might like it. Okay, so we've got that there. So that's great. And I'm going to end up sticking this down. Um, but I'm going to do a few things to it before we get to that point. It's probably the last thing I do. So with that, I can move this paper out the way. Yeah. Right, that one's finished. Then what I want you to do is take your book page. Now... Um, I had different folds here, uh, so there's a couple of things you want to know. I would grab this tag to help you because this is what determined where I was folding what. Now, I also, I cut this. I think the fold line for this is actually a quarter of an inch in, all right? Um, so I've gone a quarter of an inch over the center of the altered page so i've taken an extra quarter of an inch from the next one that's alongside it all right so that's what i've done there just to give you an idea i've cut this at one two three four five and a half inches wide all right and then whatever it is that your length is now what i did here was i um wanted to have the secret garden name when i turn it over all right i'm making a bit of an envelope here that's what i'm doing um, and so I'm going to turn it this way. Now I'm going to turn this up like that and I'm turning it up two and seven eighths of an inch. All right. Now it doesn't matter on the measurement because you want to make sure that the flap is just going to touch there. But you watch you before you press it down, I pick up this tag and put it onto the edge there. You want a little bit of the the paper showing but you don't want to catch that flap all right so it can open yeah so that's the important bit fold that bit up yeah and the only reason why you this is not the important measurement you want to just make sure that the flap will cover it that you're not going to fold it down and you've got like a gap there yeah so that's important but fold this flap down like that get your your tag on there and then Maneuver the tag to fit that it's just not going to catch there. That's important. All right. So that's why I wanted to talk you through that. Now you can just uh, glue those two sides there. Um, what I did was I did just round these two corners off. All right. 
um, and there you go. You can just stick that down, as I say, like on the two sides. I did put a thumb notch there. That wasn't a good idea because, there, <laughs> although I've done it now, so it's just too bad. Then you have a, I'll show you what I mean. If you do that, it's just not enough to cover. The flap's just not enough. You can see it through there. But, you know, I'm going to have to live with mine, so <laughs> that's just fine. And then, you know, just get your glue on or alternatively 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 can't get my words out again today um you know you can stitch around it so that one i've just glued and that's going to be fine so now when i put that on the end there my flap will lift up all right so that's important okay with the one i'm going to use which is this one here with the windows um i have stitched around it i made the thumb notch and now look look but you're not really going to see it but still I thought I'd mention it and leave you to make that choice. Right, so we've got that now and we've got this. Those are the two most important things. Next, what we need to do now is we want to take this um, envelope that we've just made and we want to place it on here. And I've made little marks on my page so I can just give you the guidance. I was playing around to get the right spot. Okay, so I'm going to stick that down there. So it's effectively, what is that? It's half an inch on each side here. All right. And then just sort of centralize it here. Have I got that the right way? There should be an arrow. Yes. All right. So that's what we are going to do. We're going to get it like that. Now, it's slightly lower because I'm going to put a tag in there. All right. So what you want to do is hold this at the top right get your glue uh, to go along the side along the bottom and along here so we can make a pocket yeah all right hold it in the middle and the top and this is why I like to put my little markers in place here I've got them here and then I know I'm not going to go skew because that's key. Okay. Right. So you've got a pocket in the top here now. All right. And these three sides are stuck down. All right. Now what I want you to do is take your tag and we're going to make a bit of a belly band with this. I want to stick it, as I said, so that it's not going to hamper that flap there all right so what we want to do is we want to get some glue on the top like that or the bottom really and we also gosh and I've got <laughs> this ribbon here let's hope that's gonna work okay I don't know what I'm doing today right um let's get that there Let's check this out. Right. There we go. And a little bit over. I'm going to get my little clips. My little clips. Where are you? I'm going to use these bigger ones. I don't think those other ones will fit this far. So I'm going to get that like that. And I, I don't know what I've done with the other bigger ones. They're somewhere. But I don't know that this is going to work. But we'll try. Okay. And then these ones. I want to just get, no, it's too far. Okay, I'll just have to hold it for a bit. Mm, I have got longer ones, but um, I think they're in my craft bag when I went away. <laughs> That's why I think I've just realized where they are. All right, so we've got that ha happening there. Um, we now have a little belly band here. We've got our little flap over there. And I think what we're going to do in a sec is grab our page that we were working on. Yeah. And we're going to just get that over here. Now, again, you're looking at a very, a quarter of an inch from the fold line. That's the fold line here. And that's a quarter of an inch away. All right. I'm wanting to make a pocket here. 
that's why I'm saying that um, and then again even it out between the top and the bottom so half an inch half an inch half an inch quarter of an inch and whatever remains okay now if you have a US letter size you might need to um, look at this and that's when this paper will um, obviously be shorter because an A4 is three quarters of an inch wider and that's why I say with the yellow paper lay it on your piece of paper and make sure you've got that three quarters of an inch gap there all right so that's what you need to do we are now going to uh, stick this down on those three sides so I'm going to turn that over because that's the side I don't want glue on and I'm going to put the glue on I must tell you a funny story or well, it wasn't funny at the time but afterwards I, I do laugh at myself a lot I um, had a problem with my fridge the one panel in my kitchen the, the it must have tripped on the electric board and I didn't realize and it is the kitchen panel that has the fridge what luck is that anyway um <laughs> long story short i needed to defrost it uh, and the reason is i had taken everything out there's nothing in that fridge other than things for crafting really i've got a huge freezer in my um garage i'm going to just stick this in place quickly so as i say quarter of an inch away there and there and yeah so um the, in that fridge i had forgotten that i had a bag of avocado water that i'd cooked up <laughs> to stain avocado paper and lace you know for myself and it defrosted and went everywhere and the whole freezer was just chock it had refrozen and it had frozen just about everything solid so i had to defrost the fridge and freezer and I was chiseling off ice uh, around the the sides and when I got to like the fan bit in the middle I couldn't get out the glass shelf and yes I took a bra uh, I took my butter knife and I tried to undo it was just caught a little bit at the back the rest of it was defrosted and so I took the butter knife just to slide it underneath the little ledge bit and as I did that I don't know what happened it was just feeling a bit frozen still and the glass shattered everywhere everywhere i got such a fright there was glass little you know like sh a shatterproof graph is like crumbles isn't it oh my gosh it was but it was spiky and oh yeah i had cuts and all sorts going on this is on saturday i was doing this oh my gosh what a mess there was a mess i was saying to abby don't come and the mom saying that the more she wants to oh my gosh what a nightmare <gasps> anyway i've got a clean freezer now i can survive yeah that was just awful luckily there wasn't any th food or anything in there that was of importance so that was good right we've got this stuck down and hopefully this is not quite stuck down if it if you have a problem like this my second uh, go-to was to put some double-sided tape on here but i think it's just a case of holding it in place for a bit right um what i'm going to do now is just put a few goodies in so we're just about done we've got um this lovely postcard uh i back mine on the lace backing paper this creamy lace um uh, in the tea stained lace and avocado dyed paper that's what it is right so that one there's this journal card i'm putting in over here okay so we just wanted that bit to show that we've got a little pocket there well i quite like that bit um right and then at the back of this pocket we're going to put this big tag at the back here so it's going to slide down behind the envelope like that all right are you are you working are you happy right there we go now um i thought i wouldn't seal the envelope up this is the mini envelope from the uh, add-on kit all right i'm gonna leave it open because i thought you could actually 
um, right in there. You could put a belly band in there, a little pocket in there and put some other goodies in there. Or you could seal it up. It's up to you. So I'm going to just leave it like that. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the birdie and I'm going to stick the birdie in like that. All right. And then I'm going to take these two bits and put one either side. So we've got that there. And this beautiful one, I love this one, like that, yeah? Can I hold that all like that? Or we can rearrange it once we're done, can't we? Now, by putting these things under the belly band, we're going to keep the flap of the envelope closed. So you can put things in there as well, of course. Um, so I'm just going to put that like that and rearrange them in a sort of a fan, yeah? I love this yellow colour. It's one of my faves if you hadn't noticed yet. <laughs> right, so I'm loving how that's looking. And then I've got this little bit here. I thought I'd just put it on the top. There's nowhere really that I could add this. I suppose I could add a little bit on there or a little bit over there, but I thought, okay, stop while you're ahead. It's enough. And I'm going to just grab my fabric tack for this. I'm just gonna stick it at the top there like that and yeah I think that's job done today so no lace today but you know I quite like that it's pretty flat I must say except for that bit um it's pretty flat and you can take these out store things in there you got your belly band your little envelope your pocket another pocket and isn't that just amazing so we can just put this bit back in here oh right so we've got that there this goes like this and then that goes in the middle i've got it now all right there we go so that's our little project for today i hope that you like it um yeah and that is sticking now so it's just needed a little moment to itself yeah everybody um that's it for today i hope that you've enjoyed it go and give it a go i know that you're going to have fun with this one i really like putting it together um i'll have another little project for you on friday i think i'm going to do the middle spread for this one i haven't done the middle spread for this one yet i think we're going to do something in um the middle here and something exciting i'll have to have a little think think like winnie the pooh says about that so um, I'll see you on Friday uh, with another little video. Have a great week and thank you for all your kindness and support. You are amazing. Bye bye.